introduce to people that it's really up to you, um, and that not not to not to give them false hope that you know you're going to win a whole lot, but that you can get some little wins, and that you have to organize. Um, when Egypt happened, I think that broadened people's perspective. You know, when you really want to broaden perspective, and you look at the world finally, and people say, oh, there's something outside of you know the Bronx. Uh, that was a really big deal for people to really think about that. And so we moved in on that and tried to really capture that as well. What's going on in Wisconsin certainly is touching everybody, uh, what they think is going on in Wisconsin. Um, and then this whole um, challenging the paradigm of worker blackmail. I mean, that's the big fight with fighting these austerity. You know, well, if you ask for more money, then they're going to have layoffs. Well, if you don't give concessions, they're going to close the hospital. If you don't do this, you're going to get this. If you don't do this, you're going to get that. Getting people to say that does not have to be this way. You know, we're hearing people who are used to be very right wing. Like, I knew something was different when one of my coworkers, who's very right wing, said, "There's something wrong with this country." When I started agreeing with Michael Moore, <laughs> <laughs> because people are starting to say, "Well, maybe they should cap CEO salaries." You know, so you use that as a way that you know people are actually saying this stuff. It's really exciting, and because they come to me and people like me who they believe in, they say, "Well, what do you think?" I mean, it's so exciting to people come to you and say, "What do you think?" Um, and then you can tell them what you think. You know, just challenging this image they have of a democracy. How is it a democracy if the majority of the people are suffering so much and just a few are getting so rich? What, what are we talking about? And I think that you don't necessarily answer the questions, you just keep asking the questions. Because people kind of know the answers, but they haven't been the opportunity to have that conversation. And to create an environment where people can actually have conversations is the most critical thing. Um, so anyway, I don't know more, but that's enough for that.